Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Frederick Stereo writes in and says, is there a way to start sequencer recording without the countdown and let the MP start the recording on the SP? Wait, this is maybe only audio. Um, you're both correct and incorrect to some extent. Um, let's just go through audio first. So what you're talking about is if I hold shift and pad 10, I can cycle through count in one measure, count in two measures, count in weight and count in off. And what you're specifically talking about is count in weight, or if I hit record, select a pad, it's going to say weight. And as soon as I start playing audio that surpasses the threshold that's set in your settings, it will start recording. So this is, I love this because it allows you to kind of ignore having to go traditionally or typically worry about the start point because your start point will be close to the threshold or attack of whatever you're recording. So it'll make it easier to work with. Um, that, that still doesn't mean you might not want count in off so that you tap record and whatever you want to at the same time, or you hit record and then tap what you want, but you'll have to probably do a little bit more cleanup of your samples to adjust your start time, maybe your end time. Anyway, that said, you're kind of correct that if you come to pattern mode and you hit record and we'll just pick a pad that if you hit, once you hit record, it's going to decide. And I, I actually just was testing this to make sure it worked the right way. It right now is waiting for a note. Well, if we hold shift and pad 10, you have count in off one measure, two measure and wait. Um, it's, you can get into a section or a way of recording where you go record. If we hit record, I had it off. So it immediately just started recording, which isn't what you wanted. You were talking about it waiting for an event. So um, let's do this again. It, it, as long as you're not like in the record menu, just hit shift pad 10 and go to count and wait and hit record. And again, it's going to sit here and wait for an event. Now it's come into the pad view. And as soon as I hit a pad, it's going to start recording, which can be good and bad because if you hit the pad offbeat or you're not kind of thinking about the BPM or you have your metronome off, it's going to be kind of hard to play it. But let's see if I can do something here. So I just recorded that. Now this is internal on the SP404 Mark II. I was using the pads here. So if I want to switch over, I don't know how much I got to, I don't know how much of the MPC you can see, but I'll, I'm going to use the pads over here and we'll see if we can do the same thing. We should be able to, I haven't actually specifically tried this, but let me get to, I'm just going to get a new track. We'll go to 17. We'll pick MIDI, MIDI output port A. And if we switch over here, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm doing it. Let's now see if we go record. Whoops. I'm going to be back in pattern mode. So we're going to go record, we'll do pattern nine, hit record. It's in wait. Let's see if it works. Uh, that was a little bit of a flub, but it works. So it's taking MIDI notes from an external source and it's recording them into the pattern, which that is pretty cool. Now, the only thing I will note as a caveat to this is if you have like some, if you're trying to record in something with weight, it's going to start and record on the one, one. And if you're using an external instrument where you actually want that note to start recording afterwards, like, you know, one, two, one, three, one, four, or whatever, that's going to give you some headache and hassle. But remember you do have all these different modes. So you can go, count in off measure one measure, two measure, and you got weight. And I think this is a change. This might've been a change in like two, two something or three O for this. Cause when I started doing this video, I was remembering wrong that you can't do it. I, I think there's ways you can get in where you can't, whoop, where you can't switch to weight, but yeah, definitely works. So I think that's what you're looking for. Hope that helps and clear some things up for you. Anyway, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music, keep having fun. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good.